Hey, what's going on everybody? Chad from Dashflix and super excited to come at you with an amazing update inside of the Reputation app. Now look, we've all heard the terminology reputation management. But what if we actually could automate reputation management? Wouldn't that be much more powerful? And that is exactly what we did in this brand new update inside of the Reputation app. Now we've got a couple updates coming out in here, so let me just go through a couple of them. First update that we did inside of the Reputation app is a brand new tab called Requests. So if you just tab over here and you go to Requests, now when you're actually sending out review requests as an example via email or sms or both via email and sms we have full-blown tracking so you can come over here and you can actually see all of the requests that you've sent out you can see on the email status um, if they were if it was delivered if they opened your email you can basically see anything like that in here um, and you can also see sms statuses as well if you're sending sms's which is awesome because now you can basically see if the people that you're asking for reviews if they're actually getting it or if they're even opening it so you'll see all that in here as well so that's the first update which is the new request tab the second update is even cooler we actually have automated review responses with logic inside of the reputation app so yes you can now fully automate reputation management you can respond automatically to reviews as they're coming into the system so this is kind of like a set and forget and you don't even have to worry about this ever again so what you're going to want to do is once you're inside of the reputation app uh, you just click on the settings icon and bam you're going to see two new uh, boxes here you're going to see one that's called response templates and a second one that's called auto response rules so the first thing that you're going to want to do is actually set up a response template let's do that together so let's say for the template name, I'm going to say this is a good review, right? And then we're going to go over here. We're going to say, hey, and you can even personalize the fields. Um, but just for the sake of the video, I'm going to get through this quick. Thanks uh, for leaving us an awesome review, right? Obviously, uh, you could probably get uh, uh, a little bit uh, better with this review response. But like I said, for the sake of time, uh, I will save that. So now I created one for a good review. Let's create one for a bad review, right? Bad review, right? You could say something like, hey, we're so sorry this happened, right? Let's fix that. Uh, you know, someone from management will be reaching out, right? Or whatever it is that you want to, to basically say here. Once again, you can personalize and inject some data in here to, to make it a little bit more personalized. But let's just say that we save that. So now I've got two templates. I've got bad review and I've got a good review template. Now I just go over here and I go to auto response rules and I create a brand new rule. And once again, let's say this is a good review, right? And I add conditions. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit UI to just make this a little bit easier with some tool tips and stuff. But this is an MVP version, but it is working tested, which is great. So let's basically say if the review from meets all of these conditions. So where is this review from? I can say, hey, only reviews from maybe only Google. These are the things that I want to happen. But in this case, I just want to say basically any source. So I'll just click all these. If it's coming from Google or from Facebook, this is basically what I want to do. If this is a four-star review, a five-star review, or this is how Facebook has the thumbs up because they do either thumbs up or thumbs down. So this is a recommended right with Facebook so these are basically all good reviews right and is the review text present so did somebody just maybe go to Google business listing and just leave you like a star review without actually putting in any text or did they go to Facebook and just give you the thumbs up recommendation review without you know actually putting any text um, or does it not matter I'm just gonna put both like um, uh, for me um, that's fine I will I will uh, respond to it whether they put text or not then auto reply using the template i'm just going to select good review because these are good reviews and you can even get more granular and add more conditions down here um, but i'm just going to save it like this okay so now i have my good review response it looks like i spelled that wrong <laughs> my spelling's not good um, but now let's do one for bad review okay and we we literally just you guessed it you do the same exact thing i'm just going to select any source i'm going to say that this is either a one star two star or three star review or it was not recommended on facebook um, i'm going to do present or not present it doesn't matter and i'm going to select the bad review template and i'm going to click save 
I am literally done. I have completely automated my reputation management. Now this can get really, really, really powerful if you have like a brick and mortar business that's getting tons of reviews. So think about restaurants that get hundreds of reviews a month, right? You can now automate all of the review responses. So think about what you can do with this when you're adding in sub accounts and how you can package these different automations into literally your offerings, right? So now automated rep, uh, reputation management uh, and review responses are inside of your dashboard today, which is amazing. You can also do some other cool things in here if you wanna just you know duplicate it or edit these templates, you can do that. Um, and you can even duplicate, edit the rules, things like that, just to you know move a little bit quicker inside of the dashboard. But once again, this is available inside of the dashboard. We hope you love it, and I will see you on the next update. Have a great day.